sure your pedals are all in the top or the flat position before you begin to put on a new string. Once you've tied your knot, you can pull it to the back of the soundboard. Lift your string gently so you don't kink the bottom towards the tuning peg. Hold it in place at the top and give it about four strings slack at the top. Then take your string away and you're going to cut where your finger, um, where you were holding at the top to make sure it's in the right place. Um, and always make sure you're cutting away from the harp. Pop your scissors down. Pop the excess string down and leave that for later. You can then take the string back to your harp, pop it through the tuning peg at the top and bend the top, so a tiny little bit at the top, bend it towards the neck so the string holds into place. Taking your tuning key, you can then pop it on the, the, tuning, the other side of the tuning peg, make sure it's on the right tuning peg, the correct one, the same one that you're tuning. <laughs> Um, holding the top of the string into place with your second finger, slowly start to twist the string so it the long end wraps over the small end, locking into place. Use small movements, turning the tuning key away from yourself. until the string is slightly tighter. Then make sure it matches and it's between all of the mechanics. So make sure it matches the other string so you're in the middle of all your mechanics. And slowly keep tightening. You should end up with about three or four turns at the top. You can then start to tune. Make sure whenever you're tightening a string, you do use small movements so that you don't over tighten, which can cause your string to snap. you've finished popping on your new string, take the excess that you put aside earlier, loop it round itself and pop it in back in the packet because you'll be able to get another string, maybe two, out of that later. Make sure it's sealed properly to keep it fresh and keep it in a bag or a box for another day. For more information on how to tune, visit our website www pilgrimharps.co.uk and click on frequently asked questions. Alternatively, you can look on our YouTube channel for more helpful videos.